You're welcome. This is case D10434927D. Just cancel your appearances, please. Next case in bar number 5311 with the plaintiff, Your Honor. Amanda Roberts, bar number 9294, on behalf of the defendant who's present in the courtroom. All right. Is there anything that's not contained in the pleadings that needs to be brought to the court's uh, attention? Just, uh, I guess, one issue that's come up since we filed our motion, Your Honor. The Documents pertaining to custody give my client the right, you can sit, to visitation with the children, or vacation with the children. He noticed a vacation with the children. He has gotten married in the last year. They're going with approximately 40 of their friends and family on a cruise to celebrate the marriage, and mom has raised an issue, and I'm concerned they're leaving on Sunday of this week that she is not going to let the children go. You they provided the 30 days notice? Yes, Your Honor. And I have the, if the court wants them, I have the emails they were sent after the motion. The only other thing I'd ask the court is leave of court to file a reply. Mr. Friedman's um, opposition was late, and so I could, didn't have five days to file a reply. I did provide him with what I would like to file so that he's aware of what I would argue if the court's going to hear argument. So he didn't provide 30 days notice of the vacation? It looks like I'm looking at the email right here, Judge. It looks like it was on uh, June 26, and I think so it's not the 30 days. That's number one. And number three days was it? Then? It was close. It was close. And then the other thing is, Judge, there's no, there, there's nothing in here because, as the, uh, as this court is much more aware than I am, because I just recently retained on this case. My client is very concerned about him taking his children out of the country and maybe absconding. We're not saying that's happening here in any. Where's the cruise before. going to? No, it, it, it's all we're asking for is it's going to Mexico, but we didn't see any of the, we didn't see any of the, the tickets. I didn't see any of the tickets. So for instance, oh, that, all right. What we're asking for is show me that they purchased the tickets for for the kids when they're leaving and when they're coming back. It's in the email, but we'll it's be more than willing to give yeah. it to her. It's provide, dated June 20th. Provide the documentation. Don't withhold the children. And, and so we have, the ch uh, we have, it's Mark, right, that's in the counseling? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. So, took us a while to get the child in counseling. Do we really want to go into an outsourced evaluation at this point? Yes, Your Honor. And you want the outsource. I mean, last time it was she wanted the outsource. No, now we've requested it, and they've always denied the request. You had left it kind of open for us because it's been going on. It's pervasive. So do you want to, I mean, do you want a full custody evaluation? And you're going to pay for it. If that's the court's requirement. That's I going to be the court's requirement. Well, based upon what's going on from the documentation, can I just, it, go ahead. That's why I asked if there was anything else that wasn't in the pleadings, because from my reading on the pleadings, I mean, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what the basis of your request for an outsource is. Uh, I mean, it appears to me that it might be appropriate to have the child interviewed by a PhD or something, but if you guys want to foot the bill for a full-blown outsource, that's fine. And if it turns out that you're right and she's 100% obstructionist and the outsource bears that out, then I'm certainly I'm going to apportion costs accordingly. But from up front, it's going to be his responsibility, 100%. So can we go off the record? Can I talk to him like for two minutes about it out in the hallway? Well, yeah, but I mean, here's, here's the deal. Number one, at this point, without something more, I don't see a basis to modify custody. Uh, I do see a need for a behavior order uh, and the appointment of a uh, uh, parenting coordinator. Uh, that's, that's where I'm at. I think the parties obviously need uh, additional assistance in their communication, and so I, I think there needs to be a parenting coordinator. Uh, and and uh, I mean, there, there should be some kind of a specific behavioral order addressing their attitudes and, and communication. So yeah, if you want to talk to him, go ahead and talk to him. Okay, can we just step outside? I'll take just a couple minutes. Yeah, if you want to. Did you want us to go outside, Judge? She's going to be quick. 